I'm Chris Coombs and this is The Truth in Diabetes. So the other day I was spending some quality time with Netflix and I watched a very brief documentary. If you haven't seen it, it's probably worth seeing, but that documentary is called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And it takes a look at this guy who's a truck driver from Iowa and his diet, dude weighed about 400 pounds. Well, he decided that, you know, again, he needed to do something different or he was gonna die. It was not a matter of, you know, if, of course, we're all going to die, but for him it was just how soon and how much sooner am I going to die. So what he did is he made a switch, and rather than living on what is called the SAD, nice acronym, acronym the SAD, or Standard American Diet, which consists of, you know, get this, 60% of the diet being processed food, stuff that's convenience food, quick, easy to grab. Okay, convenience food found its way into the markets in the 50s um, when, you know, housewives, you know, listen to the Rolling Stones, Mother's Little Helper, I'll give you kind of an idea there. That's when we started to embrace things that were easier for us versus things that took time to prepare. That's when you started seeing the frozen dinners and things that were just easy to do versus taking the time to prepare uh, healthy, fresh food. So 60% of this standard American diet or the SAD consists of processed foods. You know, especially these guys, these poor truck drivers. Good friend of mine, Bob, uh, spent many years in the truck and talked about actually heating his lunch on his dashboard. Sound appetizing, huh? So anyway, I'm thinking about something and I'm wondering, has anyone out there watching this, have you ever done any kind of a juice fast? Okay, being diabetic, obviously that changes the game for us a little bit, but I'm very curious if anyone has ever done anything like this. This trucker, he went on a, just all he did was fruit and vegetable juices. Now I'm not talking about buying apple juice from the store. This is stuff that he actually bought all the produce and ran through his juicer and drank it. And that was all he did. And I think he did it for at least 60 days. But in that first 30 days, now given his diet changed radically, but in 30 days he dropped 60 pounds. And there's many cultures that, that do the fast thing. So they may be onto something, but I'm looking for some feedback here. Have any of you ever done any kind of juicing? And if so, what's your experience? As I understand it, the benefit of doing the juicing is the micronutrients, the, the small nutrients that our cells need for regeneration, repair, reproduction, all of those things. So I'm looking for some feedback there because this is something I'm thinking about. The wheels are turning in this crazy diabetic's head. So anyway, if you're out there, please comment Facebook, YouTube, or the blog page, chriscoombs.net. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves, take care of your diabetes, and remember, disease or destiny, it's your choice.